anti-legislation. That's yeah. all it was. It didn't fit in with the legislation. Yeah. That's the reason why it shouldn't be on the agenda. I personally feel that if people do want to pray, I agree with what uh, uh, was being said by Evan there. It's, uh, it's something which should be a personal thing. You don't need to necessarily bring it into the public forum in that manner and in meetings and so on. Do you do? A personal faith is nothing if you keep it private. It's got to have consequences in your behaviour. So to say you've got to keep it behind closed doors, you're telling Christians to say, you know, you can pray at home, but don't you dare pray in public. No, 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 I'm you not know. saying that at all. What I'm saying is that it's religion is a personal thing. That's so what I'm saying. And it's got to have public consequences. Of course it does. But that has consequences through, uh, let's say, Biddeford um, Council. Let's say that they have lots of interfaith work which takes place. That's a far more proactive way of ensuring that religion continues to play a very relevant part in modern life. By saying, let's pray before we continue our meeting, mm -hmm. I'm not um, saying anything bad against prayer. Prayer is a good thing. What I am saying is that it isn't making it relevant to the, uh, the constituents. With all the cuts, shouldn't local council be praying all they can at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> Quite I'd say, possibly, yeah. I'd say, <laughs> Canon Mountford, you have, a, you, have a, you have people who attend your services who, are, we've had them on this programme before, yeah. they're Christian atheists or atheist Christians. They follow the teachings of Christ, but they don't believe in God. So that, that's an interesting area, isn't yeah. it? Well, there, there are many Alice shades. is not one of those, by no, the way. No. <laughs> clearly, clearly not. There are many shades of, uh, yeah. of opinion and belief and I think that belief and doubt always interplay with one another and I met a lot of people who uh, value the church for its community and its ethics and its uh, sense of the aesthetic and, and beauty and the transcendence that comes from that while not being able to subscribe to a traditional notion of a transcendent God. Mm. Doesn't mean to say that God is necessarily completely out of the picture as far as they're concerned. You might say that they're skeptics rather than an atheist. Mm. But there are one or two who say, no, I'm going to stick to this uh, Christian ethic which I've discovered in my local church, which my children are involved with. Uh, they play instruments in the church orchestra. There's a great communal benefit, but I don't actually believe in God. And when I say, well, that can't be Christian ethics then, can it? They so they say, follow the teachings of Christ? Exactly. And admire the teachings of Christ? Yes, but, we're, but without that theology that goes behind it. Well, the, uh, the one argument against that which I've heard is, but why would you admire the if you don't believe that, it, that Christ was the Son of God, why admire the teachings of a, a man who said he was the Son of God? Well, um, did, did, did he say he did was he the Son of God? Was, did, did he say he was? Did he? Yes. Yes. Did he? Yes. Yes. So, he's either the Son of God, yes. or he's a guy going around saying so he's the Son John's of God. In John's Gospel, yes. Uh, yes. But, I mean, yes. I, 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 I'm not saying that he's not the Son of right. God, right. but I'm saying that that's not the key issue. That here's an immensely... You're astonished, I am absolutely... Pardon me for saying gobsmacked. <laughs> for the simple gobsmacked. reason, how can this gentleman wear a clerical collar who purports to be a Christian That's minister? The glory of England. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just cannot understand it. It's Canon extraordinary. Mike, for, you were saying? Uh, I, 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 I was saying that uh, in, in the case of Christian ethics, it's quite easy to uh, find Jesus an immensely admirable person, a life of self-giving. He wasn't worried about money. He didn't, he didn't um, get occupied with all the things that we're occupied today. Um, it's, it's, it's a brilliant example of how to live a life, mm. I think. And that's what people admire, and they want to extend that into their own, into their own lives. OK, over here, Benjamin. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say, I think this entire debate is a huge overreaction to what's actually a really minor issue. Um, all Biddeford Council have to do is have the prayer session at the start, before the meeting, have a cup of tea, let the non-Christian uh, councils <coughs> turn up, and then start the meeting. I mean, this isn't... But the, the, uh, there's a long list of claimed marginalisations. It, it's isn't, just, isn't it's, the, the fact that we're Bishop discussing Nazirani this now on TV actually referred to this a couple of years ago, referred to this as, as verging on persecution. Yes. I, lead and that's, I lead prayers. I lead prayers in the House serving. of Commons every day when the house is sitting. My prayers are there for all who come in, those who want to take part in it, those who do not wish to take part in it. I pray for all the MPs, whether they have faith or not, that they will lead wisely. Does it work? There is nothing wrong with this. <laughs> yes, That's it is wrong. Right. I, I, I want to say, I want to say the, whole, the whole fabric of the whole place oozes Christian faith. Yeah, that, that and you're worried that that's threatened? I don't think it's threatened for one moment, no. Yeah. I think it's important to understand what's going on here. There are political, and, and they have every right to do this, but there are 
political Christian organizations who, because we're a democracy, they advocate their position and they found it useful to claim they're persecuted when they're not. They, it's good for them to recruit their people and to try and, and have the freedom that they see it to discriminate, usually on grounds of sexual orientation, because that's their particular focus, some would say obsession, to say that they are being marginalized. But let's look at this country. We have bishops, men, sitting as of right in our parliament, simply on the basis of their religion, not on the basis of what they do, or history. let alone elected. Yes, on the basis of, of history, something yes. you object to when it comes to uh, women in the priesthood, priesthood's history. Secondly, we have schools where there's an act of compulsory worship for well, children. Do you, do you remember at we school, can I, this is a point yeah. actually, do you remember, oh, when I was at school they used to have prayers in the morning, we used to have assembly, mm. and you know, most of us just used to go like that, you know, and wait, why I can't they just... I, so I don't think, so, so there well, are many of us who get think, on with it. exactly, many of us think and many Christians believe that having compulsory, an act of mass hypocrisy every morning in every school, as they call it, is detrimental an to the faith. An act of mass hypocrisy? It doesn't happen in every school, unfortunately. Yeah. Would you and like it to? Yes. But and they're breaking the act You'd like Christian prayers in every school in the country? Yeah. Of course I would, because I want people, all children, to grow up hearing about Jesus. <laughs> when they're older, they can make a decision. But we Alan, are, 20 seconds we before are a country. Country. I, think it's, I think it's important to recognise that it's not as though the secular world is devoid of messages. There are messages coming at us, you know, buy Jaffa cakes, go on holiday here, etc. The religion, the religious are adding one more message, mm. but it's not as though the secular fantasy is we have some tabula rasa, an empty space, into which religions are sending out their poison We're messages. We're out of time. It's Thank you all very much indeed. Thank you.